Hey, this is Chuck from Garden Spot Acres. I want to apologize for the first video in the smokehouse build. The first, last five minutes of the video disappeared. I just want to go ahead and just give you a, a quick um, explanation of what you missed in that first video. What I did, I took a piece of four foot rebar. This is not rebar here, but it's just an example. And I had my base block like this and I drove that four foot rebar down until it was sticking out above here seven inches. Okay. So that gave me an anchor point for my four by four that I put in. So after this was driven in, I went to my four by four and I drilled a seven inch deep hole with an auger bit, half inch. Then I set that over top of the rebar. So that gave the stilt some stability in the ground. So it's just not sitting on the block here. All right. It actually, the rebar stands up here about right about to there. So that's what we missed in the first video. That's what was um, cut off for some reason. So the second video picks up putting the skirt boards on and you'll see that in a few seconds. By the way, my videos come out Wednesdays and Sundays. I'll put up my Wednesday video in the afternoon and my Sunday video in the morning. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the second video. Okay, we're all set to do the uh, sides and the floor now. I have everything laid out over here what I need. We have all the links and everything for the floor framing. We got the front wall framing here, the back wall framing, and the two sides. Using pressure treated here for the flooring. And we're going to use these two by threes here for the framing of the sides. For the floor joists themselves, I'm just going to use the 2x3 common lumber. I'll make two more 36s.
All right, we just determined that this stub here is the lowest, lowest one. And I call them this the stub the four by four here. So that's the lowest one. I just checked all the way around. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and attach my skirt board here to this one. Then I'll level it, mark this one over here and just cut that one off. Okay, she's good right there. Drop that down like that. I'll go ahead and get my circular saw. We'll cut that out. So now we're going to connect from here to there and level and cut that one off over there and level it with this one. We we'll just go right around. It's a small little structure, so that's going to be really close. Get the level. Okay, we have all the skirt boards on. Next step, measure out for my two joists. So I'll just space those evenly. Since we have 39 inches here, I'm just gonna go ahead and mark 13 and 26. And I'll just center the floor joist here like this. All right, before I go ahead and put the floor on here, I'm gonna measure my diagonals. Let's see how close we are. 55 and a quarter. And about 55. So she's a little bit out of square. So that means I have to squish this one in. Ah, uh, 55 and an eighth. Nah, a little shade over 55. So I'm on a good work surface. I'm gonna go ahead and build my uh, frame for my smokestack that comes up into the floor. So I got two 11 and 3 8 inch long pieces here. They're gonna go in between the joists on the flooring. Then I'm just gonna box them in like this. Center that and my smokestack will come up through this. So my flooring will go, I'll put my flooring on over the entire thing and cut the hole out when I'm finished.
for my flooring I'm going to be using these slats here I got a bunch of these at auction take one out in the light they're about five eighths inches thick I've used them for flag projects but I got a whole bunch extras so I'm going to be using those All right, before we go too much farther, I'm gonna put my center piece in. Just gotta go ahead and center that. are trimmed thanks for watching today keep looking for the next part of the smokehouse build subscribe please share and hit that notification button so you don't miss the next parts okay have a great day